Okay, this is pretty cool. <clears throat> this is something very strange I didn't even know existed until a couple of days ago. This is a 1949 General Electric Play Talk. It is a toy <clears throat> made by GE, of course, in the classic teardrop shape, which they made their little kids' record players from. This is not a record player. It cannot play records. What it is is it it's records and plays back on magnetic disks, similar to a floppy disk. What you had here was a the tone arm, if you want to call it that, runs by, take a look under here and you'll see, it is a magnetic head, like a tape recorder head. There's no needle, and it hovers over the disc to record and playback. Notice here, you have a pin right there. That goes into a guide portion of the record to let the tone arm travel like that and record up to two minutes of a message or a song or whatever. Really, really interesting. Uh, obviously, this thing needs a lot of work. This is just the way it came in. The speaker is separate. The speaker, and this is also the microphone. You talk into the microphone to record, and you listen to it. It's a, the speaker, a speaker can work as a microphone. And uh, you talk into it to record, or you play back. It has a switch right here. The cat's making it very difficult this morning to make a video, but we're going to keep trying. Anyway, let's see what we have here. Get more light on the subject. There we go. You notice here we have a switch between play and talk. What that does is it shifts the <coughs> speaker here from being an input device to an output device. Um, looking at the graphics on this thing, it's really cool. I mean, you look at the... Uh, uh, it shows kids. It's, it was obviously a toy, and it, it says it's a toy. It would have been for one of those rich kids, the little silver spoon kids. But uh, it's got great graphics. I just love it. Now, what's neat about this, which I didn't know even, you know, a lot of stuff you don't know until you actually get it. It's a two-tube thing. I believe this thing travels, though. The turntable speed is very slow on this. It's probably 16 RPM. But it's, I won't be known until I actually uh, fire it up and look. This is not easy to pop open, but I want to show it to you anyway. Now, it even gives you uh, instructions on the bottom of it. But what's best about this is that it's, uh, it's like opening up a canned ham is what it is. Let's take a look under the other side here. And you can see all the nice wax capacitors here. Ooh, look at that it's rat's nest. I don't think beyond a newer line cord, it's never been replaced. The tubes are original. But what's cool is it has a schematic built into the uh, tin bottom, which is great, you know, for repairing. It even shows, and it makes sense how it works. It gives you a parts list, a parts numbers, everything. And like I said, this was made in 1949. But uh, I've never seen another one. I'm sure they exist. I've never seen another one, though. And uh, I'll give you another look at the head here. So there it is. It's just like an old tape recorder head. And as I just say, that just hovers over the magnetic disc. Now, I ordered some 8-inch uh, floppies because the discs were 8-inch. And I ordered some 8-inch floppies from uh, eBay because they're getting hard to find. They're getting expensive. And we're going to see if this thing is going to work. I think it will. But anyway, that's today's... Uh, weird product of the day. The weird product that is, does it even have a model number? It does. It's a 4SJ4A1. It even has a 90-day warranty. What if it stores all? Oh, this is cool, too. This was the... I don't know if I can focus in on this. I hope I can. It says the American Toys. It's the, the, uh, the seal of the uh, Toy Manufacturers of USA. And uh, they were proud of the fact that this was American-made. There's a lot of tin toys were being made in Japan at that point. Anyway, that's it.